If it's your first time here on my channel, hello, thanks for stopping by. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any more of my videos. So the ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe, which is kind of a mashup of two different things that I really love, which is kind of like the Thai style coconut curry and then the Jamaican style curry goat. You're obviously gonna need goat cubes. You're also going to need onions, carrots, coconut milk, tomato paste. The spices are simple. You're gonna need a lot of curry, salt and pepper, and some cayenne pepper if you like a little heat. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is chopping all of my vegetables ahead of time. If you've watched my previous cooking videos, you've seen me use this chopper. It is so easy to cut vegetables really quickly using it. I'll link it down below. Um, so I've cut my onions, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my carrots. wash my carrots, obviously, before chopping them. You wanna make sure that your vegetables are clean. Once I have all my vegetables chopped, I'm gonna add about an eighth of a cup of vegetable oil to my pan. Then I'm going to add in my onions as well as my carrots. Let that cook down just a little bit so they can get sort of soft. And I'm gonna add in my goats. Once the goat is in, it's just time to pile on the spices. So I add in the salt, the pepper, and the curry. and then give everything a good stir and cover to let it simmer and start cooking. After the goat, onion, carrot mixture has cooked for about 15 minutes, you want to turn down the heat a little bit. That was just to have it brown. Then you add in the coconut milk and the tomato paste, and if need be, a little bit of water. To Once you've added in the coconut milk and the water and tomato paste, you just wanna give everything a nice little stir and then turn the heat down, cover, and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. You really want the goat to get nice and soft and tender so it's just like really melts in your mouth and it's really delicious. I hope that you enjoyed it. So all of the steps and ingredients will be up on my blog, so feel free to head over to ujamakala.com. You can serve this over rice, you can eat it with chapati or naan or roti if you're Caribbean. There are tons of ways to eat this. Or you can just eat it by itself as a soup if you wanted to add a little bit more water to it. I'm probably going to enjoy this with some rice and a side of plantains. Rice and plantain is just really like the core of my existence. So if you want to see more videos like this, definitely give this one a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. No, I didn't finish. Okay, now.